Good morning, YouTube. Uh, I thought I'd do a quick video on carry guns today. Um, trying to uh, figure out what I want to carry in the summertime. Um, in the wintertime, I've pretty much decided um, on uh, two of the guns, and I'll, I'll kind of go over each one with you. Um, <clears throat> so for a while there, I was carrying my Glock 26, um, which is a great gun, um, very reliable. This is a Gen 3 made in 2006. I uh, couldn't even tell you how many rounds it has through it. I bought it used. Um, actually, my wife bought it for me as a gift. And uh, it's been absolutely flawless, extremely reliable, um, as you all know. I'm not going to go over the, uh, you know, the whole, you know, go Glock, yay. So, but anyway, I, let's, let's just go over a couple of the choices that I have and uh, tell you a little bit about each one and, uh, and go from there. So, uh, being a small guy... Um, I'm roughly between, I fluctuate between 165 to 170 pounds, I'm 5'9". Um, it's very hard to conceal a larger gun, um, so my choices are a bit limited. Not only that, it's pretty uncomfortable. So, um, winter time has been my best friend. I've kind of had a little bit more variety in the winter, uh, just because I can wear them outside the waistband and, you know, usually have either a sweatshirt or a jacket over it, so it's, uh, it's not a big concern. Um, I live in Virginia. Open carry is legal here. Um, however, I don't like to um, really open carry that much. I've done it a few times, didn't get any, you know, evil looks or calls to 911. However, I just like knowing that um, I don't really like advertising that I'm carrying, so I prefer to carry concealed when I can. All right, let's uh, let's begin with the Glock 19 here. This is a Gen 4 Glock 19. Um, actually, haven't had this for very long. Um, I actually won this in a raffle. And uh, it's been it's been flawless. It has now about 500 rounds through it. So as you can see, I haven't really shot it that much. Um, <clears throat> the Glock 19. Um, if you're looking at the this is the Gen 4. So if you're looking at the width, which again really matters for me, um, you're looking at about 1.18 inches wide. Um, so I mean it's it's really not that thick, but carrying something like this inside the waistband tends to get pretty uncomfortable. So I carry this outside the waistband and again, um, just, you know, generally just in the, uh, in the winter time. Um, I have here a Bravo concealment outside the waistband holster. Fits the gun perfectly. Good retention. Um, just nice positive click. Um, so that's been, that's been just a, uh, a great, great carry gun for me in the winter time. Um, just so you guys know, also, all of these are unloaded. I do have full mags, but as you can see, there's nothing there. So, um, anyway, Glock 19, great gun. Love it so far. I was uh, a little bit nervous just because of the uh, what you hear about the Glock 19 reliability, the Gen 4, excuse me. And uh, But so far, it's been great, so I'll just keep shooting this. Um, I do carry it. Um, I have been carrying it just because it is not as heavy as some of my other option, I should say. Um, loaded, you're looking at about 30.18 ounces with uh, 15 rounds of 115 grain jacketed hollow points. All right, let's move on to the Glock 26. Now, the Glock 26, this is a Gen 3, however, the grip width is also at 1.18 just like the Gen 4 um, and as you can see it is pretty thick it is blocky um, but again this has been my most reliable gun so far um, thousands and thousands of rounds at least for me um, who knows what the prior owner had had through it but uh, it's been just it's been a great gun I would 100% trust my life to this um, again great little gun um, this is a multi-holster inside the waistband holster. Uh, this is what I've been carrying in the summertime, um, just because you know usually you're in shorts and a t-shirt, um, so I do carry inside the waistband. However, again, not very comfortable for somebody of my size. Um, great gun, positive snap as well. Great retention, great holster. Um, all these, this one is at uh, made out of .08. Kydex. Um, the Bravo is at 0.06, so it's a, the Bravo is a little bit thinner, which is great again for uh, outside the waistband. Um, both these Glocks wear night sights. 
Uh, this one has the Glock factory night sights. This one has the tri Trijicon night sights. Um, another thing too that I've put on all my polymer guns uh, is the uh, Talon grips. Absolutely love them. I've got the uh, the rubber version here, um, and they're just great, especially when you're at the range and during the summertime and it's hot. You tend to sweat a lot, so this definitely makes it easier. Um, I'm gonna skip the uh, this one for a minute here. Um, another firearm that I was carrying during the winter time um, that I really, really wanted to carry. However, it, um, <laughs> it's pretty heavy and it's not comfortable, even outside the waistband. Uh, this is the Smith & Wesson 686 Plus, uh, 357 Magnum, carries seven rounds of 357. Um, great, just extremely comfortable gun. Um, not a big fan of the rubber grips on revolvers. I wanted to switch it out to um, some nice wood grips. However, um, I plan on this being a carry gun during the winter and rubber grips are just a lot more comfortable. Um, and I carry this occasionally and I carry it in a Kydex outside the waistband holster. This one is also by Multi Holsters. Um, again, great. Not, not the best quality snap, but great retention, especially for a heavy revolver. Uh, covers the trigger guard nicely. Um, just a just a you know, great all-around gun. I actually did um, a video on these holsters, but uh, anyway, this is a uh, this one is basically about 38 ounces loaded. That is pretty heavy. Um, and again, you know, if you're a big guy, uh, if you're a you know six four. You know, 260, you might not care, you might not even feel it, but for me, it definitely makes it uncomfortable. Again, really wanted to be able to carry this, um, but, uh, you know, unfortunately, uh, by about hour four, I just want to just take it off my hip and put it away. So, but great gun. All right, and this is my new acquisition. Um, as you all know, this is the Smith & Wesson m and Shield. This is uh, a 9mm. I bought this used and uh, before I start wearing this, I don't have a holster for it yet, but before I start wearing it, I wanted to um, just verify its reliability. Um, this gun is perfect for me for someone my size. Um, it's, uh, as you can see, the grip angle there, I mean, excuse me, the uh, the grip width is, it is one inch thick. Now, may not sound like much, but if you compare these two, you can see the difference. And it's just, it's it truly is like night and day um, in terms of the width. So again, just so you guys know, not loaded, magazine is empty. Um, so I've taken this out to the range. Um, so far, I've only put about 300 rounds through it. Um, again, this is a used firearm, so it has more uh, more rounds through it. Uh, to be honest with you, I don't know how. You know, the guy estimated that he maybe had 400 rounds through it. But uh, so for the sake of the video, we'll just say it has about 700 rounds total through it. Um, so far, just great, um, no issues, other than the sights. I don't know if you can tell, but. This used to have two dots right there. And by my second range trip, those two dots disappeared. Um, the sights are not that great, to be honest with you. Um, I'm actually gonna... I found these, not a great selection uh, for the M&P Shield when it comes to night sights, but I got these Ameriglow night sights. I'm gonna be putting these on um, just because it's just, uh, number one, I have to get new sights just because of the white dot. Now, I know that Smith & Wesson will replace the sights for free if I send it back. However, I have read that it just keeps happening over and over again. I'm not sure who they're using uh, to manufacture those sights, but those dots basically just seem to disappear. That seems to be the consensus around the web. So I'm going to put these on, and uh, hopefully this will, uh, this, you know, will give me a better sight picture. Um, one thing that I did um, after I took it out and shot it, the trigger was not too bad. Um, it was at six and a half pounds, which is a bit heavy, but um, I put in the Apex Carry Kit on this. And with the Apex Carry Kit, it's basically, I mean, it's super smooth. Um, it brought the weight down to about five and a quarter, which is exactly where um, 
my Glock 19 is at this point. The Glock 19 has um, the ghost connector on it. Um, the Glock 26, the trigger on this one is at about four and a quarter. So it's, uh, it's a bit lighter. Uh, but this one, um, I put in the Apex carry kit and it's super smooth. Um, I'm not sure if I can show it on a video, but let's see. So it's got the take ups like right about to here. And then it's just, let's check the reset here. That's it. And then no, no uptake at all. Let's do that again. So great trigger, absolutely love it. Um, also put talon grips on this as well, as you can see. Um, definitely makes it a lot easier to grip, especially on such a small grip. Um, it does have an external safety, which none of my other carry guns do. Um, and it's, it's pretty, uh, it's, it's definitely, it doesn't bother me. Uh, and the reason being is that there is no way to accidentally activate the uh, engage the safety so it's uh, you kind of have to really press it down but if I were to use a safety it's pretty easy to bring down um, but however trying to push it, it it does take a little effort so I'm gonna carry this uh, without the safety engaged um, but again I won't start carrying this until I can verify its reliability but again so far it's been a great great little gun um, this one um, it loaded is about 24 ounces, and one thing that I didn't mention, the Glock 19 is about 30.18 loaded. The Glock 26 is at 26.12 ounces loaded, um, and this one is at 24, um, and obviously this one's at 30. So uh, definitely a lighter gun, slimmer gun, a lot lighter, more comfortable, um, just, uh, just a great all-around little gun. So I'm hoping to be able to carry this here soon. Um, it does come with a seven round magazine, uh, which actually, if you look at it for, depending on the size of your hands, I have medium size hands. So as you can see, I can still get my pinky in there. Um, so it, I can get a full, nice, nice grip on it. Um, with the Glock 26, I had to put a Pierce plus zero extension to be able to get my pinky, um, on there. So that, which really is not an issue. Um, but that's about it. I'm hoping to get those sites put on sometime this week. And um, what it comes down to is, and I hate to say this, but the Glock 26 might have to, um, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'm obviously, I'm going to keep it. I'm never going to get rid of this gun. It's been just absolutely great. But if this one uh, turns out to be a reliable carry gun, I will be carrying this in the summer and the Glock 19 in the, in the winter. Um, again, you know, I was really hoping to carry the wheel gun, but that's not going to happen. But that is all I have to say, guys. I just wanted to kind of show you the options and what I've decided to carry. And, um, you know, please let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, I'd love for some of you to make uh, videos regarding what you choose to carry and why. Um, I know that YouTube doesn't have video responses anymore, but, uh, you know, let me know if you've uploaded a similar video. I'd love to watch it. Again, thank you for watching. Please subscribe and um, thank you.